as I got in and lie down, I wasn't asleep, wide awake, I experienced the Holy Spirit of God came upon me and revealed that the Bible is true and that we are living in the last days. And the Lord asked me a question. The Lord asked me, do you believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? I said yes. At that very moment, I experienced a peace that I never had and the forgiveness of my sins. I experienced a whole weight of sin went off my life. I was in tears. I was weeping, crying, because I was experienced I was experienced in the presence of the Holy Spirit upon my life. And as I stood up from where I was lying down, I was looking towards the window on the seventh floor. And I found myself being drawn to go out of the window, but I was desperately trying not to. I was holding myself back. I was terrified. Hallelujah. But God gave me an assurance at that moment that I was going to be all right. Then I find myself outside, hanging on for dear life, facing inwardly towards the building. And as I release my hands, I'm falling rapidly towards the ground. And as I'm falling towards the ground, I saw a tall figure, pure white. And I'm falling to the ground in this figure. And as I'm falling, I called out, I cried out, Ja! And as I cried out, Ja! A voice says to me, you are saved. And supernaturally, the Lord brought me away from the concrete over to the grass verge. We have made a seven inch hole in the grass. Now, by law, I should have been dead or paralyzed. But it was God, it was God that came into my life and showed forth His mighty power for His glory, for His honor, and the glory of His name. I did not know that Jah was in the Bible. I did not know the name Jah was God's name in the Bible. So I begin to read the Word of God and seek it out. And there I found it in Psalm 68, verse 4. And it says, Sing unto God, sing praises unto His name. Extol Him that rideth upon the heavens by His name, Jah, and rejoice before Him. Yes, He is Father. Son and Holy Spirit. Just because you hear the Rastafarian use the name, they use the name and they use it and they put it on Selassie. But Selassie is not God. Selassie never claimed to be God. Jesus Christ says, I and my Father is one. I have my Father's surname. You have your Father's surname. So Jesus has the same name as the Father and the Holy Ghost has the same name as the Father Hallelujah and so the Father says I have given him I have given him this is talking about the Son I have given him a name which is above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. People, that is where, hallelujah, the fullness of God dwells. The fullness of God. Who is God? God is Jehovah. God is God. He is a self-existing one. Praise God. Praise God. And today, God is knocking at your door. 
Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and will open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. He comes in by his spirit because God is a spirit and Jesus Christ was glorified with the Father. He is one with the Father. He was always with the Father and worship as God. Jesus Christ was not made or created by God. As some people teach, Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. The eternal, eternal Son of God is worshipped by angels and they bow and confess is Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the Lord God Almighty. He is the King of Kings and He is the Lord of Lords. And today He is knocking at your door. These are the last days. We are living in the end times. And the Word of God says, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Many are calling, but they're not calling in truth. They're not calling in their heart sincerely in truth to be saved. If you're going to call upon the name of the Lord, you must call for a reason. You must call on His name for a purpose. And that is to be saved. Praise God. Praise God. God loves you. And He says, Call upon me. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. Great and mighty things that you have not seen. Yes, people, Jesus is the way. There is no other way to the Father. If you reject the Son, you reject the Father. If you reject the Son of God, you reject God. I say to you today, believe in the Son of God that you might have eternal life. If you die without the Son of God, your soul will go to hell. No two ways. Jesus says, you will perish. You will perish. And to perish is to go to hell. So I beseech you today, as I close, believe. Believe. Believe in the Son of God. Believe and obey. Obey the Word of God. Don't just hear. God is calling you today to obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Give God your heart. Come to God today. Pray and say, Father, forgive me of my sins. Father, I believe Jesus is your Son and I'm asking you to forgive my sins. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make me born again by your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Because we must be born again to go to heaven, to have eternal life, to enter God's kingdom. There must be a new birth. So people of Birmingham, take heed. Take heed. Seek the Lord today with all your heart and believe in His Word. In Jesus' name, praise God. Praise God.